Welcome back to Championship Court. Gabriel Tardio, the 18-year-old, part of the top-seeded duo of Gabriel Tardio, Andre Diascu. Diascu, the most successful man on tour last year, brought home 29 medals. They are the top seed. They had an easy way through the draw. They are taking on the duo of Howells and Johnson Howells in the pink shoes as we are underway here in the men's doubles gold medal match. Exactly what we talked about and thought about is that it's going to be Johnson zero, zero, one. and ask you being patient, waiting for the right time. The epitome Seven, of exactly zero. what we were thinking. <laughs> zero, zero, 002. His strength right there, the reach in, back in roll from Johnson. Zero, zero, one. Defense at the beginning of that point with the speed up from Tadio. Second serve. Oh, serve. Will Howes going for a little heavy. A top spin serve zero, there, zero, rolled two. it into the net. Howes has one of the bigger serves on tour. You've seen that on display throughout the tournament. Easy put away in the middle for Diascu. Oh, he just gets big, and you see that face. He makes that angry face in the middle, or he's going to put that ball down, finds the hole down the middle. Zero, zero, one. And Diascu, the six foot four Romanian with that big wingspan. Great hands from Johnson. Yeah, Cole came a little late there from Tadio telling Diascu zero, zero, to let two. it go. Tries to counter, get on top, but Johnson quick flick again on the backhand side. Johnson comes up short. A couple of really long, drawn-out rallies to start this match. Tardio, one of the younger players on tour, part of that next up-and-coming generation zero, out of Jupiter, Florida. Point. Point. Miscommunication in the middle there between J.W. Johnson and Will Howell. Two, zero, two. Blue hat, white shoes, 21 years old, out of Boynton Beach, Florida. from Johnson. Yeah, hands just too quick right there. So you go right in the body, but he gets a paddle on it, gets on top of it, keeps working zero, that ball down, one. gets the final one to pop up. little big on the backhand. So a lot of people always ask why the men don't play faster. One, two, one. It's because of the hands. Their hands are lightning fast. They know that that's going to come back. They don't like testing each other too much. But right Second there third. is what we talked about pregame is that Deascu got Will Howes a little bit leaning to the two, sidelines, two. bodied him up and got a ball that he can handle.
Johnson can't make the pickup. And we saw Howells and Johnson through the quarter in the semifinals. Two, one, they played one. with a lot of pace. They played fast, but really having to slow down so far against Tardio and Daescu. <laughs> that one's not coming back. Good call. <laughs> Good call. No, definitely, and, and it's part of what Don was talking about with the respect for, two, one, two. for each other's hands, but I do think that the, the miscommunication in the middle of the court now from Johnson and, and Howes is coming from that slower pace. Daesku not able to get on top of that. He had the ball he wanted as he motions right there. i got to get on top of that. One, two, one. Chad, going back to your point, how do Johnson and Howes speed this pace up? Yeah. Yeah. So good. Answering your question right there, I, I think we're going to see them start taking One, two, two. a couple of more chances. I'll look for a big serve here from, from Howes in the drive. Well, that's the wrong spot. <laughs> John, Johnson Sitting missed there. his spot right there. There was an opening in the middle. Just a little too quick with the flick. <coughs> Excuse two, me, one, catches. One. The forehand side of Diascu and he's all over it. Diascu right back through the middle for the winner. I mean, a 3 1 lead seems like it's. Huge right now for Dasco and Tardio, but it's methodical of their game plan. Even from Tardio, he is not speeding balls up. He respects the hands of both players. So what we're seeing differently from Howes here is he's he's not sliding. He's he's jumping. He's getting elevated. He's not having a steady base there on this. He needs to stay grounded a little bit more, take a, a more Four, one, one. deliberate slide and counter that rather than trying to jump across. Second serve. How does Howell's jumping instead of sliding change the dynamic Four, of his one, shot? Two. Well, there's not as much on the counter now because all it is is, is all arm. There's no base to be able to push off with. Or, or generate any power from, uh, you know, hip movement or, or or the pressure that that's actually generated through the body. And for Hal's power is his game coming off of that paddle. One, four, right, when one. he's jumping, he's not sliding and moving. He's losing contact with the ground. So like Chad said, he's losing that power. And he's also not clearing his body, yep. too, when he's jumping. His body's staying in the same place. He's got to slide One, four, and clear two. the body and give himself some extension. 1-4-2. Hands battle won by Johnson. Well, Johnson saw the opening after the speed up from Howells. Daescu slides to the middle here after the speed up, two, four, and two. Johnson sees that and finds the sideline open. Oh. Too out. much there from Howells, side out. Yeah, and that's more aggressive play there going on the shake and bake, but Howells, four, like two, you said, one. Dorian, takes a little too big of a backswing, and that ball is down. He's now hitting up on it. So tough to keep in. Well, beautifully done, but it started with Daescu with his, pu his punch volleys on the backhand. He just kept that in play right there, and then Tardio, perfect. 
timeout on the court. Now it's time for a message from our proud partners. It's hard to find supplements that work. No, thank you. You need supplements that are backed by science with natural and plant-based ingredients and that are third-party tested. Because cleaner is better. Like Aura Organic. Plant-based supplements made from the Earth's most powerful plants for your immune health, gut health, workouts, and more. Find out more at AuraOrganic.com. A typical insurance? You're just another senior. That is the third health insurance commercial with seniors at a farmer's market. Right? Don't get me wrong, I love a fresh heirloom, but it's like those companies think we're all the same. That's why I chose Humana. Before I signed up, I spoke to someone who actually listened to what I needed. She told me about benefits that were right for me, like vision and dental, all in my budget. I'm finally feeling control. What are you doing? Taking control. <laughs> Humana, a more human way to healthcare. Welcome back to Championship Court. Andre Diascu, Gabe right. Tardio leading JW One, two, Johnson and Will Howes. 5-2 after Johnson and Howes took a timeout. Better hands there from Howes at the kitchen line. Yeah, and it's, and it's an excellent counter from Johnson off of that first speed up. Gets on top of it, gets it down, pops Five, up again two, for two. Howes. Oh, a little net tape love. Good adjustment right there from Tardio because he was all over the speed up, but then it clips the tape. He's got to make an adjustment, like Six, going two, from two. a fastball to a changeup. Makes the adjustment well, keeps his hands back, punches that ball down. Good move there from Johnson. That was good control from Howes. Just takes that ball inside, pushes it on the backhand side with a little bit of spin to kick out. Second serve. That's two missed wow. serves for Howes here. He wasn't even trying to go for anything on that one. A really uncharacteristic, especially for a player like Howes who has started two, to six, make two. himself a staple in gold medal matches. He won a gold alongside C.J. Klinger in Punta Gorda. He'll be playing in the gold medal match in singles Point. as well as that ball sails long. Yeah, it just looks a little tight right now. Not as fluid as, as we Three, six, two. saw throughout this draw. Just outside. When you are a player like that and you're playing tight, how do you get yourself Six, into three, a more one. fluid type game? You got to hit your way out of it a couple of times. Take a couple of big swings. Just go for it. Even if you miss it long. Second serve. Yo, right now he's he's missing those subs into the net. Where he's jumping at these Six, speed three, ups two. where we've seen him slide and counter. Just don't worry about making a mistake. That's side out. See, that, <laughs> it's just self-defense right there. But right now, Three, what I'm six, seeing one. more out of Johnson and Howell is aggressive dinking. Now they're actually picking up the pace of their dinks. They're putting pressure on Deescu and Tardio. No. Yeah. So you're, uh, you're seeing Deescu back up now and play more dinks off the bounce way off the kitchen line and that's exactly what no, they need they over. want and they got right there but they just overhit what is pushing diascu back off the kitchen line do to your strategy Three, six, two. Oh, oh my god 
rush. That was all body. He was attempting to body up to ask you right there. There was that no was chance. A, that no. was a red Six, dot three, on one. the center of the forehead right there. No chance of him keeping that in. Backhand side. Yeah, I was Go ahead. Seven, three, one. <laughs> it did the hard work. It almost got behind him just yeah. a little bit too much. Yeah. Oh, that's a good Point. change of direction there from Diascu. Reads the quick flick, goes back to the forehand side of House. When we talk about not speeding up cross court right there, that's what J.W. Johnson just did. He speeds up cross court at Deescu. What happens is you leave your partner hung out to dry, and Deescu goes right at Howells. And it gives Deescu and Tardio a five-point advantage here in game Second one. Serve. Second serve coming. 8-3-2. Ooh, oh, ran right into it. Point. The unintentional body bag. 9-3-2. 9-3-2, Diasco and Tardio, two points away from taking game number one. Side out. Good change of pace right there from Johnson, going doubling up on the backhand side of Diasco. Right at the feet of Howes, he got caught in the transition zone. See that drive there from J.W. Johnson, it's them trying to speed something up. Johnson, typically, he was moving to the sideline. Typically, he will not speed that ball up, but he's trying to make something happen. Side out. Is Johnson just picking the wrong spots to try and make something happen? On that one, yes. He was just sliding to the side. Usually, if he's going to speed up, he's Nine, three, moving one. through it and moving forward. But again, it's frustration taking over right now for Howells and Johnson. Haven't been in this position very often. It's been an easy run for Howells 10, and 3, Johnson 1. through the bracket, but facing game point here. Second serve. Just out off the paddle of Tardio, but game point number two on the way. 10-3-2. Point game 11 -3. Johnson comes up short. Tardio. Game number one Five in our men's game. doubles gold medal match go to the top seeds. Andre Diascu and Gabe Tardio. They take it 11 to 3. We will be right back here on Championship Court. To be clear, fulfill is a protein bar, not a candy bar. Don't let its creamy, chocolatey goodness confuse you, or the fact that you hide them from anyone with a sweet tooth. You saw nothing. I saw nothing. Fulfill. We swear it's a protein bar. Welcome back to the AARP Match Spotlight this week with the Masters Mixed Doubles Bracket, Kelly Ojeda. Will Muno took home gold over Reagan Ferguson and Mike Pazerak in an epic that went to a championship tiebreak. Congrats to Kelly and William. Let's take a look at some of our other AARP Masters and Champions gold medalists. We got game two still ahead here on championship. Don't go anywhere. There's still plenty more at the 2024 APP Sacramento Open. No, since I've been using uh, Leo Rubber, I, I've had way less problem on my AT band and hips. 
has been really a game changer for me, so I highly recommend it to everyone. That's what makes it so different. The whole idea about balanced compression, it improves your blood flow, reduces your fatigue. At the end of the day, you feel so much better. I feel comfortable, I feel supported. I feel like I can train harder, train longer, recover faster, and feel supported while I'm playing. And that's so crucial for me, especially in singles when I'm trying to play against the youngest. I'm not the youngest out there, but I try and play against the youngest. Nothing makes a gathering great like Eggland's best eggs. They're just so delicious. With better nutrition, too. For us, it's eggs any style. As long as they're the best. Eggland's best. The ProXR Pickleball Paddle answers the age-old question of how to get paddle speed and control with the same paddle and one grip, and this is it. ProXR gives you more spin, greater control, and quicker reloads on every shot in the game because you always have that constant feel for that leverage and control and paddle speed that we're all looking for. ProXR is the most revolutionary technology in pickleball. Welcome back to Championship Court. Andre Diescu and Gabe Tardio taking game one handily over Will Howes and J.W. Johnson. 11-3 in this men's doubles gold medal match as we get set for game two. Tardio to serve first. Johnson. Again, getting big at the kitchen line off that backhand side. You don't see that from him very often. One, zero, you have that two. first game in your pocket. Tardio starting to get fiery early. Testing the waters on Johnson right there. I like it. And so does <laughs> Deescu. <laughs> hey, you got that first game. Might as well go out here. Two, they're zero, testing two. it early. Oh, he was there. <laughs> he was all over it. Tried to rush it. Saw the, the feet still moving. Little little flimsy on the wrist a little bit. Catches the bottom of the paddle. I mean, he, he did block an out ball, but this one he slid. He didn't one, jump. Two, one. He cleared himself a little bit more. Got on top of it. to the backhand side. So there it was right there. He fed, that being Diascu, right into the Will Howell slide to the sideline. Two, two, Howell's one. able to get the first one, and like I talked about earlier, Johnson covers in the middle. So Seven, Howell's three. is free to do that because he knows Johnson has his back there. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. It's a big swing from a big man to the kitchen line. Hard, hard, and hardest. <laughs> Keeps getting on top. It was a good block from Howes, but even with the pressure two, two, one. and pushing him back, when you block from down there with that hard, it's going to pop back up. There's no lack of firepower on display here on championship court. Jumping the sideline right there for the Ernie. 
fancy footwork by Diascu. All right, perfect hands there Three, from two, Tadio. One. And then a one-two combination from Diascu, culminating in the Ernie finish. It's safe to say they're feeling pretty comfortable right now. Second well, and I'll tell you right now, the familiarity right there with Tardio and J.W. Johnson gives Three, two, him a little two. bit of an advantage right there. When Johnson is speeding up at him, he's seen it a thousand times. Point. Tardio going after Howells, and out ball makes it 4-2 in favor of the top seeds. When we talk about the familiarity, that is Gabe Tardio Four, and J.W. Johnson, they practice and work out together, so they know each other's game inside and out. Side out. Jessica getting a little big side out. Yeah, actually over moved on that one and, and jammed himself up. Two, four, one. Second serve. A little help from the net cord right there, but. It was still going to be an excellent ball from Diascu. He's changing direction as he went back behind Johnson on the backhand side as he was moving middle. Football, left foot. See, and out. now you're seeing Johnson try and take over a little bit. You saw him step right in front of Will Howells to take that dink and try and make something Four, two, happen one. right there, sensing maybe a little bit of pressure here. So you see that foot fault, the left foot lunge. Outball hit by Diascu. To go back to that foot fault for a minute, in talking to players around the tournament this week, they feel like it's been called more Four, than two, ever two. before. We have seen a rash of foot faults called. In your opinion, is that something the officials are paying more attention to here? I don't think it's necessarily them paying more attention to it. I think it's more the aggressive play. Yes, players are that's being, exactly what I was going to say. Players are being way more aggressive. They're Two, flirting four, with that kitchen line a lot more and getting called for it. But they're going to take that risk because with the risk comes reward. Ever increasing level of play across the game of pickleball. Beautiful forehand winner from Johnson. Yeah, Daescu trying to sneak that one through the middle. Challenge change direction. As he was sliding through, we're going to get a challenge. Yeah. Yes, no, maybe so. Still debating on it. Are we doing a challenge? Yeah, they're going to challenge this Perfect one. Time out. We have a challenge of the in ruling. Yes. I think that was... In ruling really puts us at three, four, one. Well in, but we well, have seen review. on some of these challenges that the ball is a lot closer and even out a couple of times with how fast it's moving. But as we look at this replay, it looks like it's well inside the baseline. So potential for Tadio and Diascu to lose this challenge. Colt would stand on the court. If the call does stand, it will be 3-4-1. So again, nothing hurt for them. If they, again, we've talked about it before. If with these challenges, it's a free timeout for them. So they get that free timeout. If they lose the challenge, they lose it. They get three challenges. So like we said, those free timeouts, if it doesn't work out, hey, fine. They can kind of slow that momentum down if any has been on that side. Don't mind it at all. Game two has been a much more closely contested so far. What has been the biggest adjustment for Howells and Johnson coming out against Diascu and Tardio? Well, I, I think, you know, Dom mentioned it, where Johnson's starting to take over a little bit more. He's, he's covering more court. So now Howells is actually sliding and sliding more to the line, knowing that Johnson's going to be there. They've kind of picked up the intensity a little bit. We saw on that last one, where Diascu 
He's sliding across Get's house to slide, Call tries stand. to sneak Ball it through in. the middle. Lost video challenge. You have two the video challenges. The call does stand. You have three video challenges. 15 seconds. We'll resume play at 3, 4, 1. Play resumes at Time 3, in. 4, 1. Diascu and Tardio three, four, lose one. a video challenge. They're down to two. Second serve. So again, a little freeze there on the timeout. Three, four, two. AKA failed challenge. Oh, he read it well. It was a good change of direction there from Hals. Todd, I mean, Diascu, fantastic four, four, job getting a paddle on it. Move back middle, but just miss hitting it. Side out. Hals can't make the shovel. Side out. Tied at 4 all. 4 4 1. A nice little run there from Hals and Johnson to even it up. Diascu read it perfectly. There was a huge hole down the middle. But he can go as late as he wants because of his length, right? Once, he goes once after Howells. After Howells hits that, he goes. Well, he, and he's also looking to see where Howells' eyes are. Howells' eyes never came up. He's going again. Second serve. Into the net. You can kind of feel how much Andre Diascu is feeling it by how often he goes to hunt Five, those early. Good control of the kitchen line there from Howells and Johnson. Diascu was looking in the crowd, looking at Tardio, going, how did I miss that? 4-5-1. <laughs> it was aggressive down at the toes while he was moving. Yeah! Oh, Diascu trying to speed up the forehand and catches the tape. And, and that's not his typical style of play right there. Yes, five, five, he'll reach one. in, take the ball out of the air, be aggressive with it, but once that ball bounces, especially with spin, he's usually a little bit more conservative. So what you'll get too is a lot of people will ask, Tiasco being the stronger player, obviously, why are they going to him? Five, five, because two. there's not as much attack out of Tiasco than there is out of Tardio. They know Tiasco is going to keep that in play, but there's more risk going to Tardio. Oh, yeah. Side out. Ball just deep there off the paddle of Howells. A little too big on the take back and it flattens out. Side out, tied at five. Five, five, one. Diascu has been such a solid presence on tour throughout the last two seasons. And Just flick. Johnson saying not to die. I mean, that's five, five, you talked about the familiarity. Johnson already knew what Tadio was going to do as soon as he tried to sell it with the body. Diascu pushes it long side out as Howells and Johnson able to stave off another point. But if Howells jumps on that one like he had been doing previously, he's not getting out of the way there. He slid, gets out of the way. Five, five, one. Second serve. Johnson missed the roll. 
That's good body control right there. As Deescu noticed where he was pulling that ball from. Knowing he's got to go up and over, he gauges five, the five, speed two. right away and knows that ball's going to go out. Nice step in there from Johnson as Howells and Johnson get their first lead of the match at 6-5. Well, and that's such a tough ball to read six, right five, there two. because Johnson's leading with the wrist and then it's a late snap that goes crossbody into Diascu. And again, right there, you're sitting, you know, even if you're you're sitting middle body right there and, it, and it's going seven, cross, five, it's got two. so much pace on it that it's difficult to drop that hand back and catch up to it. That's such a Side good out. spot right there from Deascu. He had Johnson pinching middle. He goes outside hip. Johnson crossed up Five, just seven, enough. Second Changes third. the spot there. This time elevates it on Tadio. But again, it's Five, Johnson seven, and Howells getting more aggressive now. <laughs> a little hey, verbal now. aggression there from Will Howells. <laughs> Had enough of that one. Seven, five, almost one. lost Dorian in the booth right here. <laughs> Jumping back as that scream came from Will Howells. It's an exciting point. Yeah. Ooh, oh, joining nice. in. That's all started from J.W. Johnson. He hits a very aggressive backhand dink. It backs to Askew off the line. The Askew pops it up just enough that Howells can pull that trigger. Timeout taken by Diascu and Tardio. We're going to take a quick timeout with them. We'll be right back here with the men's doubles gold medal match. to check out pickleballsuperstore.com via the QR code on the screen to get your instant discount. Plenty of great finds at pickleballsuperstore.com. This has been a great match so far. Dom, Chad, what has impressed you the most about the way game two has played out? The aggressiveness right now of J.W. Johnson and Will Howells, that's given them a here an advantage. I like that. They need to keep that up if they want to force a third game. Yeah, you know, Dorian, you asked the question earlier as far as what does the aggressive dinking do and, and Nine, five, what one. benefit is it? Once we start getting pushed back away from that kitchen line, we're, we're coming off the back foot. We're more likely to pop that ball up. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing now these balls that aren't bouncing from Diascu and Tadio, and it's giving Howes and Johnson the ability Ten, to reach five, in one. and flick. Brings up game point for Howes and Johnson. Could read that from Diascu. He was ready to hit the overhead. He was caught positioning 10, 5, as it started 2. drifting. Game point number two. Oh, it's Johnson out. misses the forehand side out. A great job right here holding two game points, 10, trying 1. to force that third. But got to hold the dig out of here down five. Second serve. Rushed it. That's not how they got here. Five, ten, two. They got that victory in game one. Have to be more methodical. Yeah. Backhand winner from Howells to get back on.
one serve. There's the slide instead of the jump. Slide clears the body, continues it, and double fires Ten, down five, the one. line there for the winner. Point game Third 11, time five. is the Johnson. charm. We will Howell. head to a winner take oh, no, all game three as Howells and Johnson take game two 11 to five against Andre Diascu and Gabe Tardio. While we have a break in the action, let's go off the court to meet the Martin family, who found a bright light in pickleball, even in their darkest times. This is Pickleball Stories presented by AARP. My name's Will Martin, but I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, in a little town called Madeira. Will has always been extremely methodical was a good kid, but his mind was always going. Uh, it was parents' weekend, and we're all together, and then we left, and he went on to do what they do, is some college parties, and... Um, and I was out with a bunch of my friends, like close friends. Unfortunately, one of my friends made a, a kind of a dumb mistake, but he ended up uh, putting something in my drink one of the nights, and it messed with my, my brain chemicals. And the next morning when he saw him, he was sheet white. Just shaking and sweating, not really lucid, not making a whole lot of sense, like something's really wrong. And uh, I mean, that, that opened up a whole nother can of worms for the rest of my life. It was just uh, two years ago, he was in the chair right here, shaking, sweating, not able to get out of the chair. I was in the middle of a very, very bad episode, and after a month or so, they said, Will, you have to get out of the house. You have to get off this couch. And he, it, for the first three or four times, it was no. And finally, it was like, no, you are doing something, yeah, and guess what? You are You're coming. coming to Pickleball. And I think that was probably the first time I heard Will laugh for a year. Pickleball means a lot to me, more than just connecting with family and friends. It means the world to me that my parents and family and close friends were on board with what I was going through. And that's the thing with Will. There's so much more to it as to how pickleball got him off the couch, got him to socialize, and, and then it helps him to help others, and that's why he, he does what he does in, in terms of playing pickleball. And it helps him, helps others, hopefully. Pickleball, to me, is a, a tool to be able to get to people, to talk to them about mental health. I, I appreciate them and everyone, uh, and, and I thank them so much for, for supporting me in, in what I'm trying to do. Such an important message there in terms of mental health. It's great to see Will and his family out on the court. And that is the, one of the big things about pickleball. You hear everyone talk about it, the community, and just the love that everyone has for one another. Yeah, and I, I've been teaching pickleball for almost 10 years now. And a lot of my clients were using the sessions as therapy and as a way to be active. So we were talking about you know, whatever issues that they were having in their life. Yeah, same. That's pickleball right there. That is the story of pickleball, and that's why people, and like us, we fell in love with the sport, is for stories like that. We're going to take one more quick break here on Championship Court. Coming up next, winner take all game three in the men's doubles gold medal match at the 2024 APP Sacramento Open. Welcome back to Championship Court. Game three coming up in the men's doubles gold medal match. Tardio and Diascu took game one, 11-3 before Howells and Johnson came back. Five-hole winner from Diascu. Howells and Johnson took game three, 11-5. Well, Diascu coming out, guns blazing right there. Goes right Zero, past J.W. Johnson to earn a quick side out.
point. Right at that left hip of Johnson. Johnson knew it was coming, but this time Tadio goes a little bit more one. body. Johnson has to slide over, gets jammed up. Yeah. <laughs> Four can winner from a ridiculous hands battle. It almost looked like Deus, who caught the one ball on his paddle and just flipped it back over. Yeah, that again, one. Yeah, again, though, it's the slide of Howes that started that one, allowed them to get on top after that speed up. Sadescu puts it into the net, side out. So Deescu got what he wanted right there. Howells did not counter that as well Zero as he would have liked. But Deescu into the net. Good pattern there for Deescu. Second serve. One just a little too high there from Johnson. Deescu gets on two. top, gets it to the feet of Howells. Doesn't overhit it. He hit it into the slide. Yes, he so did. So instead of feeding to the left hip, he hits it into the slide here. Watch Howells jump to the side, hits one, it right zero, into one. it. Perfect spot from Dasku. Second serve. Good spot there from Johnson. You know, one thing to, to recognize with this is it's not so much one, the zero, power, two. but it's more the spot. No matter how hard these guys are hitting, if they're not hitting the spots they need, they're coming back. Point. House comes up short, another point for Tardio and Diascu. You particularly talk about that on the overhead putaways, how important those angles two, actually zero, are. Two. Well, even any any ball right now that that's being taken out of the air. For an easy put away for Diaz. Again, Diascu. it's it's not an overly hard hit ball, but it's a it's a spot ball. It's elevated. You know, Howes goes to block and he goes through. I think that's the two. problem that a lot of uh, players, even at, especially amateur players, you know, they get away with hitting these hard balls, but then the skill level comes up, and and you know, it's it's all more about the spot. This time, Diascu hits into the slide of Howes again. He's now, instead of Four, going zero, straight two. ahead, he's hitting into the slide, he's jamming up Howes, and it's opening up that spot. You and I, Chad, Point. talk about in-game adjustments all the time and coaching in pickleball because you and I are both coaches in this game. Five, zero, we see that, but Teescu has that on his own. Yeah. He's figured that out right now on his own. Diascu finding some Time space in the back six, zero, of the court. Two, Timeout receivers. If Diascu makes that adjustment, 
We'll talk about it on the other side of this. Let's take a look at how we got here before we answer that question as Diascu and Tardio have taken a commanding 6 nothing lead in game number three. So game one, it's all Diascu and Tardio, 11-3. They were playing clean. We talked about, Chad, how Howells was jumping up instead of out on that two-hander trying to create room. It caused problems. They take game one. Yeah, and then in game two, we saw Johnson and Howells be a little bit more aggressive with their dinks, put a little bit more pressure on push. Diascu and Tadio away from the kitchen and created the pop-up, and then they were able to attack. And we see a good counterattack there from Howells. To go back to the question of adjustments, Diascu made the adjustment. He's attacking Howell on, into the slide. What does Howell's need to do to counter? Well, he, go ahead. <laughs> I, he, uh, did, he needs to sit, sit straight. Two. He yeah. needs to sit on the forehand now instead of trying to slide to the backhand. Yeah, he's going to slide to the forehand, but the issue is now Diascu's picked up that pattern. So if, if Howell slides to the forehand, now Diascu's going to start following the movement Seven, again. Zero, two. So it's very, very tricky uh, with that one. Point. Long off the paddle of Johnson, and this has the potential of getting out of hand quickly. 8-0 Eight Eight, here in game number three. Look at the bounce in the step that right now of Deescu and Tardio. They're almost rushing to the baseline to start serving. When they get to the kitchen line, they are leaning in and being really aggressive with their dinks right now. 9-0 did not see this coming here in game no, three. Not at all, but you know, again, it's all about momentum and it's exactly what you're talking about. They cannot let off right now. You know, what has gotten Diascu and Tadio to this point is that they have been more aggressive. They've read Howes, like you said, Dom. And now it's putting Johnson in a tough situation because Howes isn't sure which way to go. So now Johnson doesn't know which way to go. You hit it right on the head, Chad, is that Howells doesn't know where to go right now. And so that's the issue of what he's going to do to make this adjustment here at 9-0. It's an 8 nothing run for Diascu and Tardio. All eight of the points have come on the second serve. All Howells and Johnson needed was one stop to get back on serve. Haven't been able to get it. Wow, I didn't realize that. That's huge. Oh. The whole crowd went up in oh, unison <laughs> off of that drive from the overhead of Johnson Badescu. 10-0-2. Brings up championship point. Point game match. Just catches the line, and there are new kings crowned in Sacramento. Andre Diascu and Gabe Tardio take it in three games. Wow, Chad, that is unbelievable right there. He saved that until the very end. Tadio still can't believe that he made that ball, though. He turned around toward us, and he was like, oh, that ball is out. No challenge coming. We, we all hesitated, too, because we didn't know where that was, but that was a great ball by Gabe Tardio. And, Chad, that was absolutely methodical here in Game 3. What was the biggest difference, though, for you in this third game that they changed it? We talked about the sliding in Deescu. To me, that was it was hitting into the body of Howells on the slide. Definitely, but I, I think the other part of it was you know, Daisuke and Tadio got in trouble in game two when they allowed Howes and Johnson to dictate the tempo. In this one, now they came out in game three, dictated the tempo, put the pressure on, took the chances, and got the momentum flowing. And right here, this is how it was done. Andre Deescu gave Tardio on top here in Sacramento. It was making in-game adjustments constantly from game one to game two to game three, Chad. Yeah, but, you know, Diescu is, is just a picture of 
stability and consistency, right? That's why he is being on the top here at the APP, is that he makes the adjustments, he doesn't make a whole lot of mistakes, and if he does, it's an adjustment in two to three games. So we see the chest bump there from, from Tadiu and Diascu. What a job from Diascu and Tadiu. We're gonna throw it courtside. The third member of our team, Dorian Kraft, is with both Andre and Gabe. Everyone, let's give it up for our men's doubles gold medalist, Andre Diascu and Gabe Tardio. That was a phenomenal match, guys. Yeah. Oh. Andre, Gabe, Gabe, I'm going to start with you. You train with JW. You know him so well. How did you use that to your advantage, especially there in game number three? Uh, yeah, I mean, I practice with him all the time. Uh, I know, you know, a lot of his shots. So that definitely helps, but he knows my shots as well. So I don't know, <laughs> it's kind of tough because you know, I, we both know our games pretty well. So yeah. It didn't look tough for you. You look like you had it in control out there. Andre, you're a staple in the gold medal match. We've seen you out here so many times. What is it about this partnership with Gabe that was so successful this weekend? Well, you saw it on match point, how the guy, you know, just went for it without any doubt in his mind, you know, and uh, that's the kind of competitive spirit that we need. And I think we're making a great team together and Finally, we got our first gold medal. Uh, obviously, congrats to uh, Will and JW on a great run. Uh, I also want to thank the people of Sacramento for coming out in such large numbers today, and especially the Romanian community that was uh, always so supportive there. And uh, last but not least, I also want to uh, thank my family, especially my wife and my girls back home. I look forward to seeing them tomorrow. Well, guys, congratulations. Everyone, give it up one more time for our men's doubles gold medalist, Andre Daescu and Gabe Tardio. A great job there from Dascu and Tardio coming out on top. They are looking good so far this season, Chad. Yeah, you want to talk about a dominant performance. It's as, about as dominant as you can get there in game three with the adjustments they made and taking that one 11-0. Fantastic performance from them, and they're definitely a good partnership. Well, that has it. Men's gold medalist there. We'll take a quick commercial break. Women's pro doubles gold medal match here in Sacramento next.